I'm gonna do a water taste test today. I forgot I was wearing my headphones. Give me a minute. So I have in front of me 13 different brands of water. I also have just a fun one that we're gonna talk about later. So me personally, I don't particularly have a favorite brand of water. I know some people are like super dedicated to one brand and like super hate other brands. And I have heard some conspiracy theories and some not so great business practices from a few of these companies. But honestly, I'm like not that picky about the water I pick up. I normally just go for whatever's cheapest. But I thought it would be interesting if I took all of the brands of water that I could buy at one store and just taste tested them all to see if I could even tell if there's a difference between some of these and to see if like the expensive bottles of water are actually like taste better or for the ones that have some like conspiracy theories behind them, see if I can taste or at least try to explain to you what I think about the theory. So for this, I did try and get the smallest one of each bottle. For example, this was the smaller version the other one was like this big but for some of these um, they didn't have a small version so I just have this giant thing of water and while doing this I did want to be cognizant of the fact that this much plastic will create like a lot of waste and that's why I wanted to do something like water water doesn't like go bad so I can open all these bottles put them in the fridge and then drink the rest of them later and it won't be a problem I won't be wasting any food and with the bottles themselves I have always been a person that reuses water bottles I will use a water bottle over and over again until it's literally falling apart or I'm also very forgetful so sometimes I will leave them in the car and in the Texas heat they will often melt so I will keep and reuse water bottles until they literally do not function anymore. For example, I have here a water bottle that I actually got at a figure skating competition and I put like stickers on and everything on it because I was planning on using this water bottle for basically forever. The only problem is I left it in the car and you can't see it so well here, but this melted in and around the cap it melted so it doesn't screw on all the way. So it just spills water out. So it doesn't work anymore. So it just lives on my shelf. So I can look at the cool stickers. But the collection of water that I have here is almost every single brand of water that my local drugstore was selling. Hello, I'm out in the world today, which is a change of pace. Don't look at where I am. <laughs> it's not that much of a secret. I'm doing the water taste test video soon at some point, whenever I can find time to record that. But I just bought all the waters today. Ignore my skates and hockey stuff in the back seat. Um, I bought many, many different types of water. This is by far, I think, one of the silliest things I've ever done for a video. I felt they didn't have any baskets, so I had to carry like a lot of water bottles by hand. I think close to 15 water bottles I was just carrying in my arms. And some of them, they didn't have the small ones, so I had to get the full-sized versions. Someone just pulled in next to me. Oh no, now I'm a real YouTuber filming out in the wild while people are watching. I'm nervous, I don't like it. But yeah, so I didn't actually film in the store, which I maybe I should have done, but I didn't because I was already embarrassed by carrying 15 water bottles around and I had to get them all from the refrigerated section too because they didn't have any just like regular on the shelf, so I had to get cold ones. Because that's the thing, I bought 15 different types because I could have just bought like one of those 24 packs if, they, if I had gotten all the same type, but I did not. There was one brand that they had, but I was too short to reach. So we didn't get that one, but otherwise I got every single one that they had to offer. But I actually have to go get my skates sitting back there. I have to go get them permanently mounted and adjusted because apparently the blades aren't on correctly even though I've had them for almost half a year at this point. So I gotta go get that done and I'm hopefully gonna get them sharpened today too. But when I get back home, I think tonight I'll have time to actually film the taste testing portion of this video. But we'll see. If not, I'll do it this weekend. So like I said, almost every single one, I did not get one brand because I could not reach it. I was just too short. Somebody had pushed the entire row like all the way back and I just couldn't reach it even standing on the little thing that you're not really supposed to stand on, but us short people do when we need things. And because I already had my arms full of many, many bottles of water, I was not going to try and jump or anything. As we go along, I'll be putting these in order of the one I liked least to the one I like the most. And I guess I'll talk about them and why I don't like them and why or why I like them. There are a few sparkling waters in here and just off the bat, I don't like sparkling water, so those are probably gonna be rated pretty low. And these are all just my opinions. So if you like a very particular brand that I say tastes nasty, welcome to the internet. And as my last disclaimer, I'm not sponsored by any of these. I'm not sponsored by the store that I bought them from. I'm not sponsored by anybody ever for all time. Well, maybe not for all time, but I'll let you know when I am sponsored by something. Until then, assume I'm not sponsored. And to start off this experiment, I'm actually gonna start off 
with just some basic tap water. This is the mug we're gonna be using today. I didn't fill it that much, I filled it to like right here because I'm gonna be drinking this much out of every single one of these bottles and eventually I will have to pee. But so we're gonna start with tap water so that we have a good baseline and compare everything else to since this is kind of what I would normally drink. Yep, tastes like tap water. <laughs> Slightly metallic, a little bit dirty. There's probably fluoride in it. Also, none of these are gonna be cold because I had to go get my skates sharpened and mounted today so they were sitting in my car for the hour I was waiting for that to get done. So they'll be perfect to compare to my lukewarm tap water. So this is the first actual brand we're gonna test. This is called, I think the brand on this one is called Nice. I've never heard of this brand before. It says premium electrolyte water. So I'm pretty sure this is just the store brand from the store that I bought it from. Look at my receipt, this one costs $2.39. Um, so it, I mean it tastes a little bit better than tap water does, but it just tastes, it tastes generic. It's also just water, so it definitely tastes different than the brand I would normally buy. A little bit less of anything, a little bit more water flavored. In the ingredients listed, it does have magnesium sulfate and potassium, which is good because I'm always low on potassium. And it looks like the bottle is recyclable. So there are some winners. This one's gonna go exactly in the middle for now and we might move it later on. Okay, for our next one, we're gonna do life water. Again, I feel like they should have smaller bottles, but I just could not find a smaller bottle. So we got the big bottle, which is fine because I actually really like these tops, especially when I use these to go figure skating. I love the sports top. This one was also $2.39. So it's the exact same price as the store brand. Something I don't like about these sports top is tearing apart my nails trying to get them open. There we go. Alrighty, life water. Life Water says it's pH balance and it also says it has electrolytes. It'll, I like the design on the bottles because even though we're tasting water today, marketing is always going to come into play in some aspect. Basically the same ingredients. What I was saying earlier about how this tastes just like nothing, like bland, like water, this one tastes a little bit more tinny, but I think not in a bad way, if that makes sense. This one for me tastes like it was designed to make you less thirsty. This one just tastes like you're drinking purified tap water. When it comes down to it, all of these are really just purified tap water, but this one tastes like a little bit better tap water and this one tastes like it was meant to make you less thirsty. So it's definitely gonna go ahead of the sort brand. Okay, next we can do smart water. This was the smallest option they had. They used to have a frog on the inside, but this one doesn't have a frog on the inside, that's sad. This one is also $2.39, so that seems to be average price point for the water. This one does have less water in the bottle though for the same price point. Again, it says the bottle is completely recyclable. It says that it is pH balanced with electrolytes. They've all said that so far though, so maybe that's just something that's naturally done in the distilling process that I'm not aware of. There was a kid that I went to middle school with that would only drink smart water. Like he threw a fit whenever his mom packed him something else. See, this one tastes even more like tap water than the just average store brand tastes like to me. It's something, it's not metallic, but it's something like at the back of my throat that just tastes like a little bit different and it tastes a little bit more like a tap water than the store brand. So it's going below store brand. Alrighty, so we got our first sparkling water. Like I said, I really don't like sparkling water, so it's probably gonna go pretty low on the list. Please don't get angry with me. But here we have Perrier. Again, it says the bottle is recyclable, so that's nice. I also did in fact break a nail trying to open that life water. That sucks. So for 16 ounces of Perrier, it is only $1.50. This one, however, is distributed by Nestle, which might be something to think about if you don't like Nestle. Of the other ones so far, they are not distributed by Nestle. So this is our first Nestle bottle. So if you don't like Nestle, maybe don't get Perrier. And there's the carbonation. Is this what ASMR is? I think it poured too much in. Yeah, I don't I don't like Perrier. <clears throat> I have this problem with most, if not all, carbonated waters. It tastes it tastes like I'm licking the skin of a lime, but at the same time sucking on an Alka Seltzer tablet, if that makes any sense at all. Yeah, do not like. Big no from me. We'll go with Fiji next. 100 percent recyclable. And this one looks like it is not distributed by Nestle. For 16 ounces, this is $2.29. So I think cost per ounce, this might be one of the most expensive ones. I'll do some calculations later on to get the exact cost per ounce for each of these, but this is definitely more expensive for having less water in the bottle. This one to me is very similar to the Smart Water, just a little bit less in your face about the flavor. 
It's not my favorite and I would honestly put the store brand above it, I think. It kind of tastes like rocks. <laughs> not that I know what rocks taste like. Going above Smart Water but below just the regular store brand. So our first one was store brand premium with electrolytes. This one is store brand with nothing in it. So just the regular store brand, store brand. I thought they were different brands because they're in very different bottles. The fancy one costs $1.99. This one costs $1.39. So I think I might've gotten that mixed up earlier. I think I might've said this one costs $1.39. This one costs, I don't think that's correct. It says Iceland on it. No, okay. There are three different kinds. I stand corrected, hold on. Okay, premium. This one costs $2.39, which I said originally. It says it's supposed to have a sports cap on it and it does not, it just has a regular cap, which is weird. Then these two, which are also the same brand, but in very different bottles. So I thought they were different brands and also very different prices. This one, no electrolytes, not the premium or anything, just regular water, store brand water, $1.39. This one, premium Icelandic pure spring water with only 16 ounces is $1.99. I thought these three were all different brands because the bottles are vastly different. Let's see how different they taste. This one tastes honestly very similar to the original store brand one we were looking at. <laughs> this premium one, I really think it's indistinguishable, honestly. Okay, no. This one definitely tastes blander. This one definitely tastes more like just regular tap water. It says electrolytes added for taste, but it has less taste than this one does. I still think this one tastes a little bit better than the Fiji though. So I'll scoot it right in between. So it looks like for this one, you're really paying all that extra for, it is a bigger bottle. So you are paying more for the bigger bottle, but also for electrolytes and a sports cap that doesn't exist. But let's do the final one of this brand, the Icelandic version. I'll tell you, I'm not a fan of these bottles that have the wide top because I am a small person and I will spill it all over my face. I was gonna say that one was my favorite out of the three, but it has like a weird aftertaste. The more it like sits in your mouth, the more it tastes dirty. It's almost like drinking fresh water and then at the very end of it, you get a mouthful of dirt. I think I'm gonna put this one right before Perrier. Only a little bit better than the Perrier. Okay, we've got another sparkling water, Pellegrino. I think this might be Italian and I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce it correctly. There are a few brands in here that I've never heard of before because who needs this many different manufacturers for water? But it's a fancy bottle. I don't know why the sparkling waters are always in a green bottle, but because it is a sparkling water, it's already got a few points taken off. It's got all these lines on the labels that make it really hard to read any of the words on the side. This one does specifically say that it's meant to be like a dry flavor. That could be part of why I don't like sparkling water is because <clears throat> of that dryness in it. Here it goes. No, still not my favorite. It's gonna go one above Perrier. Tastes a little bit more like citrus and a little bit less like Alka-Seltzer, but it's still not good. If I remember correctly, Dasani is one of the very controversial ones. This is manufactured by the Coca-Cola company, so if you don't like them, don't get Dasani. This one supposedly is supposed to make you thirstier. Supposedly they add a little bit of salt into it, which I do not see listed on the ingredients. Oh no, salt isn't here. <gasps> they do add salt into it. Is it really a conspiracy if they say it's straight on the bottle? But anyways, the salt in Dasani is supposedly supposed to make you thirstier. And funny story, when I was very young, my aunt would only drink Dasani. And when I was over at her house once and I was very thirsty, I asked her for a bottle of water and I drank the entire thing and said, I still am very thirsty. And she got very upset at me and said, you just had an entire bottle of water. How are you still thirsty? Yeah, so far for me, this one has the most specific taste. This tastes like bottled water to me, if that makes sense. A lot of these in here just taste like tap water that has been purified once or twice, but this tastes like bottled water. As much as I don't like Dasani, this one's going at the top currently. It might not quench your thirst, but it tastes the best. All right, next we have this big ass bottle of Evian. Again, they didn't have a smaller version. It was also very expensive, $3.19, but this is a liter of water, so very large. This one again says it has electrolytes and everything in it. It also says plastic bottles are actually already made of recycled materials, which is fun. 
However, it says that it still can't be recycled. I know that with certain materials, you can only recycle it so many times before it just can't be recycled again. So even though it's already been recycled once, you can still recycle the bottles. Blah. This one is expensive and fancy because supposedly it has like a lot of calcium in it, but it's supposed to be natural calcium that just comes from the mountains or wherever they get it from, somewhere in France. So calcium is not listed in the ingredients, but supposedly it's supposed to taste like milk. That's weird. It's not that it tastes like milk, but it, oh, hmm. It doesn't, it doesn't taste exactly like milk, but it tastes like you had a glass of milk and then wash it down with water. So it tastes like the very slightly like milk. It's like the water itself doesn't really taste like milk, but almost the aftertaste tastes like the aftertaste of the aftertaste of you drinking water after drinking milk. So like three steps removed from the aftertaste of milk is what the aftertaste of this water tastes like, if that makes any sense. I will say, we just talked about with Dasani that it's like meant to make you feel a little bit thirstier or like not quenched after you drink it, but I'm feeling more of that with this one. Like I almost feel like my mouth is drier after drinking this. I don't, maybe that has something to do with the calcium or the specific minerals in it, or maybe it's that aftertaste that's making me like want to drink more water to get the taste out of my mouth, because you know, walking around with milk taste in your mouth all day is not the best. I think taste wise, it's gonna go directly behind Dasani. Mostly because I'm not a fan of the aftertaste, but like just the regular taste of the water itself is fine. Another big bottle. This one is called es Essentia? Essentia? This one has a much higher pH. The rest of them are like 7 point something. This one's at a 9.5, so pretty acidic, I'm pretty sure. This one looks like it also has salt in it. Interesting. Alrighty, how much did this one cost? Two forty nine for an almost thirty four ounce bottle. So I think the value on that is fairly good. This one again tastes more like bottled water and less like tap water. This one's very similar to Dasani. I think I like this one the best so far. It tastes the least like tap water and the most like bottled water. It doesn't really seem to have any like weird aftertastes. Maybe it's just like a higher pH. I don't know. But I think I like this one the best so far. Now, I am from Texas, so we have. Ozarka fucking everywhere. Again, this one comes with a sports cap, much easier to open than the other one. So earlier I was talking about how I mostly drink tap water and another specific brand of water. This is the other brand of water I normally drink. Because I live in Texas, this is available fucking everywhere. For 23 ounces, it is $1.79, so a little bit on the cheaper side. So I normally get it because I buy cheap water. <laughs> And I drink it often at home because my roommate actually has like a rent a water cooler type thing. So they have like a water cooler and then a company will bring water to us and we'll basically just refill the water cooler and it's Ozarka. So I drink Ozarka pretty much every single day if I'm drinking from the water cooler or just straight tap water. I use tap water in all my like teas and coffees and everything. I don't boil our good water, I just boil the tap water. It tastes like what I'm used to. It tastes the most like a bottled water, the least like a tap water. It tastes the most clean and it tastes the most nothing, which I look for in water. I don't know about everyone else. I don't know about everyone else, but when I drink water, I am not always impressed with them adding a million flavors or electrolytes to taste. Just give me some water. I just don't want to be thirsty anymore. For that, I'm pretty okay with the Texas brand, if you can call it that. I feel like it is kind of a Texas brand. But um, this is definitely my favorite so far. This leaves us with our last brand. Again, they did not have a smaller bottle. And also, again, I don't like these really wide mouth tops. For 30 ounces, this one is $2.89. Open this fucking bottle. This, I feel like, is in a similar range as Dasani and Evian and Life Water. It tastes like bottled water, but it also still has a little bit of that tap dirty taste to it. I think I'm gonna put this under Evian but above Life Water. So that actually is gonna bring us to our last one. Just like a fun one. This is just another smart water, but it is flavored cucumber and lime. This was one of the only ones that had like another flavor of water sitting next to it. For the other ones, there's mostly just a variety in sizes, except for the store brand, now that I'm thinking about it. Cause like I said, I didn't realize those were all the same brand. I thought they were all different brands because the bottles look so different. So smart water is already pretty low on my rating, but let's see if adding some cucumber and lime will help it out. I'm not tasting any lime, but I definitely taste the cucumber. 
Luckily for smart water, I really enjoy the taste of cucumber. It is definitely mostly cucumber, but there's almost like that aftertaste of lime, but it tastes so much like our carbonated ones that I kind of don't like it. If it was just cucumber, I think I would like it a lot more. If it didn't have the lime in there, I think I would like it a lot more, and I'm not going to put it in the rating because it wouldn't be fair to the other brands, but I still don't think this would be my favorite if I included it. I think it would be in a similar range as Core and Evian, the ones with like the kind of weird aftertastes. But now it is time for our final rating so we can see where this water falls on my taste scale. On the bottom we do have Perrier. Again, I cannot stand the carbonated waters. It just doesn't do it for me. Something about the carbonation, I guess, doesn't taste right to me. Very bottom of the barrel. We've got Perrier. We've got Pellegrino, the other carbonated water. Same thing. Didn't like the taste of the carbonation. It just has a little bit less of that. It just has a little bit less of like that chalky flavor and more of like the lime flavor. After that, we have the store brand Icelandic version of the water. It just tasted dirty to me and that's not what you're going for in water. Right above that, we've got smart water. Same kind of thing. It still tastes like tap water, even though it's supposedly been purified. I guess sometimes those electrolytes taste, just taste like tap water to me. Right above smart water, we got Fiji. Similar thing. Tastes a lot like tap water, just a little bit less so than the smart water does. Right above Fiji, we have the store brand, but just like the regular one, not the fancy kind. It tastes like water. It tastes a little bit better than tap water. <clears throat> then we have the store brand, but it's the premium version with the electrolytes. Um, very similar to the small bottle store brand, just a little bit, you know, better. After that, we have the life water. This is where we start to get to ones that actually taste like bottled water and not tap water, in my opinion. I feel like this is a really good medium of the road. Still a little bit like tap water, but mostly like bottled water. After that comes core. The more something has a nothing taste, the more I like it. So this has a little bit less of a taste than life water does. Then comes Evian. Again, the water itself is not bad, but I'm really not liking that aftertaste. It makes my mouth feel like I drank milk and then went to sleep and woke up with milk mouth. So pretty gross. But the water itself does not taste bad. So that's why it's so high. Next is surprisingly Dasani. Dasani does not taste bad even though it leaves my mouth dry and makes me very thirsty. It doesn't taste bad. It tastes a lot like bottled water. <laughs> it's missing that like grittiness that tap water has and that metallic taste that a lot of these have. Just some basic ass bottled water with a little bit of salt in it. Essentia, again, little to no taste. <laughs> That's honestly what I'm going for in a water bottle. I'm not looking for, unless I'm buying something like a cucumber lime water, I don't want my water to taste like anything. If it's like Evian and it has a little bit of a milk-ish taste because of the calcium in it, it's gonna leave a bad taste in my mouth when the water is gone. Or at least that's the problem with many of these. So this one tastes pretty close to nothing and I like that about it. And I swear I'm not biased but my top is going to be Ozarka. It could just be that I'm used to this one, but this one just tastes the most like water. Not like tap water, not like a fancy water, not like a sparkling water. It just tastes like water. It's perfectly bland. No weird aftertastes, but also no weird metallic-y or dirty tastes. It doesn't do that thing that Dasani and Evian and Core were doing where my mouth feels almost like coated with something that make me then want to wash it down with more water. So yeah, Ozark is going to be our winner for the day. But I hope you all enjoyed this video of me tasting much too many waters. I did not drink very much out of each of these, but I still have to pee. I'm not endorsing any of these waters specifically. I don't care which water you get. You could be like me and just buy the cheapest water. But I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.